Hello, Math Angel. How are you today? Today, let us work with percents a little bit. And let's talk about converting percents into decimals and fractions. So, let's say we have 25%. This little sign, sometimes like that. I think it looks prettier like this. You can write it however you like. The main idea for percents means 25 per cent being 100. So as a fraction, it's just 25 per or out of 100. And note that this is now a fraction. We can simplify this fraction. We won't get too much into that in this video. Just know that this is a fraction, something out of something. And in this case, 25 goes into 25 and 100. So we can simplify it to 1 out of 4 because 100 divided by 25 is 4 and 25 divided by 25 is 1 so 25% is the same as 1 fourth of something we won't focus too much on the simplifying today, but we can definitely get more into fractions another time. Point is just take your number and put it over 100. For decimals, you can move the decimal over to the left two times. And that's the same thing as when you divide by 100. You're taking 25% and making, making it now 25 one hundredths, which takes it from 25, which you can think of it as a 25 point or 25 point zero, whatever helps you. You can add as many zeros as you like, do, 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 um, but to make it a percent, you move it to the left to spaces. One would represent tenths, one hundredths. So point two five is the same as twenty five percent. And if you have point two five to go back to making it a percent, go to the right. So if I gave you 80% to make that into a decimal, you would put the dot here and move it over to the left two spaces, one and two, then you no longer need that percent sign. Put a dot there and you have point and since the zero's at the end, you can get rid of that too. So just 0.8. And that's the decimal equivalent to 80%. So you could also write this as a fraction. 80 out of 100. Literally taking your 80%, putting it as 80 out of 100. And simplifying this if you like. So in this case, we'll just cross out our zeros because 80 is 8 times 10 and 100 is 10 times 10. So the 10s cancel. You can't do this with 81 over 101, of course. But in zeros, it's the same as dividing by 10. And then 2 goes into 8 and 2 goes into 10. So that leaves us with a 4 and a 5. Again, no worries about simplifying fractions for now. We're just 
just focusing on the moving, the decimal place, and then just the idea of putting our percent over 100, okay? So if I were to give you 0.8 as a decimal, then to get it into a percent, I move this way two places. And because I have a missing place here, I'm going to put a zero. It's kind of the backwards of getting rid of that zero. I could have just put more zeros because I needed them as many as I need. 0.8 is the same as 0 0.8000000. 000 000 000. So I can just move my two now conveniently to get 80.000, but really just 80%. So we're just moving left and right, left and right, okay? And I'm hoping that this isn't the absolute first time that you've seen this or heard it, because that would be a little bit more organized. But I do want to infuse you with more confidence multiple. 
multiplying by 100 and then I would do 0.9 and then put the percent sign back in. That's all there is to it. Sorry about letting it bleed through. But I didn't want to waste the, the piece of paper. Um, so when you have questions like what is 12% of 30, which we'll get into, you can, one way to do it is to convert the 12% to a 0.12 and then multiply by 30. That's it. That's one way to do it. To do 0.12 times 30. Okay. Okay, so just a quick little refresher for percents here. I know that sometimes we get bogged down by really long explanations and reasons for this and why we need to do this, but in the end, it's just move to the right, move to the left too, and it's just depending on if you're multiplying by 100 or dividing by 100, okay? All right, we will look at specific questions, I promise, but let's just get warmed up here. 